Cheryl class. In today's grammar lesson, we're going to be looking at the progressive tense. So we're going to be looking at the progressive present tense and the progressive past tense, and then consolidating our learning by completing a worksheet that I've got for you. So our aim for today is to be able to identify past and present progressive tenses and use them correctly in our writing. Our success criteria, the skills that we're going to have, that we're going to use to be able to achieve that, is we're going to be able to identify sentences that are written in the past progressive tense. We're going to be able to change verbs to past progressive tense verbs. We're going to be able to identify sentences that are written in the present progressive tense. We're going to be able to change those verbs to present progressive tense verbs. And we're going to be able to use the past and progressive form correctly and consistently in our own writing. So I want you to think you probably haven't got a partner at home. But maybe you could grab a cuddly toy who you could speak to. And I want you to think about what you did yesterday. You're going to be using the past tense to do this because it happened yesterday. It happened in the past. It's not happening right now. OK, so for example, the little girl here said, I ate pizza for tea. Yesterday, I had curry for my dinner. Yesterday, I went to sleep at 10 p.m. Yesterday, I walked my dog around the woods so tell your favorite cuddly toy or your favorite toy that you've got one thing that you did yesterday using that past tense so you can pause the video to do that hopefully you pause the video and you had time to speak to your favorite toy or cuddly toy and you told them something that you did yesterday so now i want you to tell your cuddly toy or your toy or if you've got a brother or sister that's there that you can tell, that's great. Some facts about yourself. And that's going to be done in present tense because that's right now. So, for example, I have ginger hair. It's not the past tense. It's right now in the present tense. I do have ginger hair. I am wearing glasses. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm not doing it in the past. I'm doing it right now in the present. So remember, pause the video, tell your toy, your cuddly toy, or your brother, sister, sibling, mum, dad, one thing about you now, some facts about yourself, which is going to be done in the present tense. Hopefully you had some time to pause the video and to tell your cuddly toy or whatever it was, whoever it was, some facts about you in the present tense. So I want you to have a little look at the sentences on the screen and I want you to think about whether they are past tense or present tense. Now remember, past tense is used to describe events which have already happened. So yesterday I ate a curry for my dinner. That is something that would go into the past tense column. Present tense is used to describe something which is true now and it's unlikely to change. So for example, unless I dye my hair colour today, it's going to continue to stay ginger. So that's the present tense. So, I grew a lot last year. Is that past or is it present tense? Manchester United won the FA Cup. Past tense, present tense. I am tall. Is that past tense, present tense? Manchester United are the best team. Again, past or present. I watched a good film yesterday. Past or present. I like good films. So, pause the video and see whether you can... Just think to yourself. You don't actually have to write anything down if you don't want to. You can just think to yourself, which sentences are going to go into the past tense? Which sentences are going to go into the present tense? And why do you think that? So pause the video. Let's see if you were right. So I grew a lot last year. That's in the past. So maybe you grew 13 inches, okay, or 13 centimetres higher, taller. That happened in the past. Manchester United won the FA Cup. Again, something that's happened in the past. It's not happening right now. It's not in the present tense. I am tall. That's something that's right now. It's present. Manchester United are the best team. For you, you might think that. And that's in the present tense right now. I watched a good film yesterday. That ED is telling us that that's happened in the past tense. I like good films. Present tense. So hopefully you got those ones right. So in this lesson, we're going to learn about a slightly different form of past and present tenses. And it's called the progressive form. Can you say that? The progressive form. And the progressive form of the present and past tense is used to describe actions that are or were happening. So, for example, the progressive present form is actions that are happening. And the progressive past form 
are actions that were happening. Another way of saying this is that they were or they are in progress and that's where the progressive form gets its name from. So let's have a little look at the past progressive tense. This describes something that was in progress for a certain amount of time. It's formed with a past tense of to be and an ing ending, so ing on the end. So it's using words like was or were before you're saying something. So instead of saying I went fishing, you might say I was fishing, you were swimming, he, she, it was sleeping, we were crying, you were choosing, they were jumping. So it's using that was and that were after those pronouns and then using verbs with that ing ending. So she was dancing, you were sleeping. So I want you to just take a moment now, you can pause the video and think about which one of these you want to use. I was, you were, he, she, it was, we were, you were, they were. And then think of your own verb. So don't steal any of my ones. But think of your own verb that has ing on the end to make a sentence using the past progressive tense. So an example, like I said, might be you were dancing. You were skipping. We were playing. So I've used my own verb ending with ing, so that suffix ing. And then I've used... Some of these using those pronouns, using the was or the were. So see whether you can do that. Pause the video and see whether you can write your own past progressive tense sentences. Hopefully you had a go at that. Now we're going to be moving on to the present progressive tense. So the present progressive tense describes something that's in progress now. So it's happening now. It is formed just like in the past progressive tense by adding the suffix ing to a verb. So you can see them here. Fishing, swimming, sleeping, crying, choosing, jumping. Exactly the same when we were looking at the past progressive tense. And then we're having a look here at the present tense to be. So I am, you are, he, she, it is. So instead of in the past progressive tense when you've got was, were, in the present progressive tense you've got am, for I am, are for you are, is for he, she, it. And those plurals, we are, you are, they are. So he is sleeping, we are crying, you are choosing. So you're doing it right now. They are jumping, I am fishing. So just like you've done with the past progressive tense, see whether you can pause the video and write some sentences using some of these starters. The present progressive tense using some verbs with ing on the end, that ing suffix, and see whether you can write down your own sentences using the present progressive tense. Hopefully you've had some time to do that and you understand the difference between the past progressive tense using the was and were, it's happening in the past, and the present progressive tense using that am, that are, that is.